Hero and Leander, is a poem by Christopher Marlowe. That retells the Greek myth of Hero and Leander. After Marlowe's untimely death it was completed by George Chapman. The minor poet, Henry Pito, published an alternative completion to the poem. The poem was first published posthumously. Five years after Marlowe's demise, the poem may be called an Eplian. That is, a little epic. It is longer than a lyric or elegy. But concerned with love rather than with traditional epic subjects. And it has a lengthy digression, in this case. Marlowe's invented story of how scholars became poor. Marlowe certainly knew the story as told by both Ovid. And by the Byzantine poet. Musius Grammaticus. Marseus appears to have been his chief source. Analysis. Marlowe's poem. Relates the Greek legend of Hero and Leander. Young lovers living in cities on opposite sides of the Hellespont. A narrow stretch of the sea in what is now northwestern Turkey. And which separates Europe and Asia. Hero is a priestess or devotee of Venus. Goddess of love and beauty, Incestos. Who lives in chastity despite being devoted to the goddess of love. At a festival in honor of her deity. Venus and Adonis. She is seen by Leander. A youth from Abydos. On the opposite side of the Hellespont. Leander falls in love with her. And she reciprocates. Although cautiously. As she has made a vow of chastity to Venus. Leander convinces her to abandon her fears. Hero lives in a high tower overlooking the water. He asks her to light a lamp in her window. And he promises to swim the Hellespont each night. To be with her, she complies. On his first night's swim, Leander is spotted by Neptune. Roman god of the sea. Who confuses him with Ganymede. And carries him to the bottom of the ocean. Discovering his mistake. The god returns him to shore with a bracelet. Supposed to keep him safe from drowning. Leander emerges from the Hellespont. Finds Hero's tower and knocks on the door. Which Hero then opens to find him standing stark naked. She lets him whisper in her ear. Flatter, entreat. Promise, protest. And swear. And after a series of coy. Half-hearted attempts to defend the fort. She yields to bliss. The poem breaks off as dawn is breaking. No critical consensus exists on the issue of how Marlowe. Had he lived, would have finished the poem. Or indeed if he would have finished it at all. End of the analysis. Thank you.